Good evening. Many people play sports such as basketball, football, volleyball, and tennis. Students play basketball in order to stay fit and also for fun. In Abu Dhabi University, sports and wellness program helps students develop team working skills leadership under the provision of professional coaches. Today we are joined with coach uh, Nemanja Kristic. Uh, we're very happy to have you here. Happy to be here. Uh, so before we start, we're going to start uh, with a video in order to introduce uh, yourself. Thank you. So let's start with introducing yourself to the audience. Uh, my name is Nemanja Krstić and I'm coming from Serbia and I'm sports and wellness officer at Abu Dhabi University and also I'm a head coach of the men's university basketball team. So to start with, what's your philosophy of coaching? The philosophy, I wouldn't say philosophy, but the way I see it at the moment in this time of my career is more like teaching and developing approach. So I see myself as a guider for the for the players uh, as on the court and outside of the court. So on a personal level, what do you think are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths, if I had to evaluate myself, are connected with the uh, transparency. I'm very uh, open to communicate with the players and uh, I like to share the, the knowledge with them, I mean, to them and vice versa. And I see that as a main strength for myself and in my future work. Uh, weaknesses, I don't focus on them so much. I try to uh, develop myself daily. So as a sports coach, uh, you probably watch many teams. So what teams do you enjoy watching? Definitely I enjoy watching European basketball and the coach Željko Bradović and all the teams that he coach. Uh, f I focus myself on NBA, which is a professional league in the US and uh, also I'm watching the University League NCAA. Okay, so uh, there are, there's always some place for improvement. So what can be some ways to improve the sports team skills? Uh, the team that I train right now, university team, we focus on communication. That's a, that's a priority for us. Uh, as the, the area where we, where we play and, and UE uh, generally in basketball are still in developing phase, so we are focusing on, on skills where actually it's going to be easier for us to interact and, and improve certain things that we need to improve. So that's the main thing. So gathering together, talking between each other outside of the practice and on practice is a, is a key element for us. Uh, so we know that once students enter the sports team in the university, uh, they have an athletic scholarship. So can you tell us more about the athletic scholarship? Yeah, definitely. So uh, every student or, or team member that is part of the female or, or male, uh, any team. We have basketball, volleyball, football, and cricket. They, they are allowed to have scholarship if they reach certain criteria. The main criteria is uh, definitely attendance of the practices and games have to be 75% more through the span of the season. Uh, they have to have recommendation of the coach and also they have uh, criteria set by the, by the university uh, in terms of the academic. They have to have uh, above 2.5 GPA at all the time. Uh, so you said that you were uh, a, a professional player. So what advice do you usually give to your players? Yeah, I was a professional player for 10 years in, in Europe. The advice that I, I, I have for the players that right now I coach, it, it's simply the ethic. I'm trying to influence their ethic because I'm very passionate about basketball since the day I start to train and play. And uh, when I see that the players are responding in a similar way, I try to let's say, improve that element. So ethic and, and, and passion towards the, the game itself. Uh, so lastly, what are your future plans? My future plans, actually current one, are connected with the university, with our university. And uh, as I develop the basketball, uh, in many ways I develop also the sports, since I'm a sports and wellness officer here. So I observe all the sports activities, wellness activities. So at the moment I'm here and I, uh, I live in the moment. 
so unfortunately our talk is uh, finished so we're very uh, once again we're very happy that we have you here tonight Thank you for having me. and I uh, hope you guys had some insight about the sports and wellness program in Abu Dhabi University and thank you so much. Thank you.